Hello there everyone and welcome back to the Road to 56 mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Tailman Lover. Yeah, Tailman Lover. And right now we're inviting the Baltics if they want to join our little Leninist pack, but we're beating up some Bulgarians because, well, oh, we actually just, oh, look at this too. That's not bad. We lost 91,000. Um, because we can. Also, I invited Indochina into our faction because they were facing the same little enemies and, well, they're not doing so well. But oh well, at least we have an ally. Supposedly. But yeah, Bulgarians gotta go. Goodbye, Bulgarians. Um, Federation of South Ar South Arabia. Okay. Actually, with the Bulgarians, forty-four thousand. That's not bad. Oh, Sofia is completely encircled. Very nice. Our Republic of Latvia accepts the invitation to the Leninist Pact. They all decided to accept our offer to join the Leninist Pact. Henceforth, we shall stand or fall together as we invite the Finns. Uh, uh Estonians are rejected. And oh. Lithuania says yes, too. But they're a little busy right now. Um, okay. Also, the Comintern is doing very well against the Commonwealth of Nations, unfortunately, right now. So, yeah. That's not good. In the meantime, are we just fighting anybody? No, we're not. Albania. Bunch of authoritarians. Greece. Well. 150 days. Good God. Uh, you guys. 100, oh, good God. 100, why is it 100... Whatever. Go put you on the border already, which is fine with me. We might have a two-front war. We'll see. Backhand blow, because that's pretty good. And actually, Gerd von Lundstedt, go ahead and go expert delegator. We're going to need you to be quite beefy, because we need a guard against this side too. Although we're against a lot of enemy soldiers, but we'll see. And then you all are doing okay. These tanks should do all right. I don't know why it takes so long to take these guys out, but whatever. And then we'll get Finland in our pack too. Making many more military factories. Uh, what are we missing? So right now we're missing some quite a bit of anti-air and heavy flame tanks. Because I put them all on our infantry divisions. So we'll see how well those guys do. So up to level 5 here, eh? Not bad. Do that, do that, and do that as well. Because we got a lot of roads to build. Um, not bad. Overall, not bad. Hopefully the Finns accept us. If not, well, also we have to go to war the Danish as well, but, yeah, we need quite a few divisions, don't we? And build all the roads. All of the roads. Not just some of the roads, but all the roads, because eventually we're going to run out of things to build. And that's okay with us. Cool, 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 cool. All right, what else do we have here? Increased demand, trade, that's fine. We're gonna go all the way with the Dutch to see how far uh, it takes, it, uh, have us to take to do that stuff, so. Vehicles, already, eh, combat reports, and eh, just requisition for an influence. Oh, those decisions only affect the AI behavior. To focus on its navy. Oh. Canada, declare war in Canada. Oh boy. What a little Canadian thing. Imperial Civil War in Canada. America's still struggling with the common turn. Interesting. I just hope we can get rid of a lot of enemies that way. Alright, help put down a lot of resistance in what was Bulgaria with a tip. Alright, we got more divisions here, which is fine. And they reject us. Oh crap. The French Republic is gone. Well, that's not good. Uh, fight the Soviets? Yes. Only the Soviet Socialist Republic of Germany can save Europe from the Soviet's tyranny. You betcha. Anti-imperial stance, which we read in the last one. Safeguard neutrality. Of course, we read this too last time as well. Of course, I read, I think, this one as well, so. Yeah. Since the decline of the empires in the north and the independence of Finland, these nations have traditionally stayed neutral, but with the Soviets at the doorsteps waging aggressive wars, they can't refuse to contribute to European safety. Establishing a Pe Penemunda factory, or laboratory. Setting up a new central laboratory with further scientific knowledge and research to new heights. Wunderwaffen. Eisenberg and von Braun are chomping at the bit, explore certain ideas they have for true doomsday weapons. All they need is a little bit of that, their extra resource. But we're going to go to war with the Greeks, who are war with the Turks. Because, yes. And they had the ultimate Ottoman Sultan that came back. But they had a bad pact as well, so. There's also the Pan Muslim pact, but we don't talk about that, too. Saudi Arabia really went to war with uh, the UK. Okay, well, whatever. Good luck with that. Um, also, we did get. Oh, there goes Latvia. Wait, what? There's Lithuania as well. Uh, what? Um, well, we did get uh, Norway and Sweden into our pact as well. Uh, so, there's that. Um, we're doing okay against these guys, too. Uh, what are you guys doing here? You don't need to beat these guys up. 
You're gonna know the enemy. Also, I did make our infantry divisions 40 combat width. So, also, we did take out Albania because they joined the South American faction for some reason. So, yeah, I don't understand why. But I'm not really concerned about it right now. Uh, we just gotta get ready for the war with the Soviet Union because we can go to war with them right now. I have conscripted a little bit more population as well. So, we'll see what happens. Go down if you can. Sarkman's the name of the game. Oh, wait. Oh, we can press Expeditioners? I forgot that was a button there. I'm um, also to put some naval bombers here too, as you can see. Oh, that's actually really good too. But we'll see what happens. Uh, Thank you. And we'll take out the D Danish as well. And hopefully we can sink a lot of enemies here. That's my main goal. Sinking, 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 sinking. As many enemies as possible. You guys are going to die here. And I'm totally okay with that. God dang it. Well, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and send you guys up to... Maybe here. I'll push the line as fast and as hard as possible. You guys are going to send to Denmark. Please. Just kill the Ottomans off here. They're literally trapped here. They have nothing they can do. Swedish Hellenic War. You guys are pretty much good to go. I mean, we're missing a crap ton of artillery. 13,000. Um, here's an infantry division we're using right now. With heavy flame tanks, because why not? We still have 20 armor. Pretty decent, I'd say. Uh, some destroyers, of course. Oh my gosh, please. How can you not win there? Jesus, you guys are dumb. You are literally starving for supplies. Greeks, please. Please, Greeks, please. Oh, they're going to be there forever, aren't they? Yeah, they're probably going to be there forever. Unless they're the war of the Soviets. Who knows? Oh, actually. What is this? There. Oh. Well, all right. You guys should do all right. You guys, are, there's only 10 divisions down here too, but I have been trying to build a bigger air base, or air, I guess, air force, not air base. Yeah, we're out of planes to a degree, so that's not good. You go there. So you have a job. You go right here when you are ready. And you go right here when you're ready to do that. Duplicate you two. Because I will send you actually closer. I don't know why you're so far away from that, but that's okay. You guys go right there too. More tanks? Good. They actually navy invaded again. Sure, guys. I don't care. Uh, with just being July, it's a good time to attack the Soviet Union, right? It's always a good time to attack the Soviet Union. And railway guns, nine more, not enough. We don't have that many divisions on the front there, but whatever. Let's see what we can cook up. Polish public remove Molotov, Ribbon Trial Pact, whatever. Don't really care at this point, guys. We're going to do this, and we're going to do... Oh. That as well. So far, a lot of green, as it should be. Um, Yeah, come join. Join, 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 join. Uh, let's see. They've lost 700,000. They don't have that many divisions, really. We have a pretty good amount of divisions compared to them. Oh, I should have sent more naval bombs up here, too. So, overall, not bad. We will probably need a little bit more fuel, which is not good. Uh, we don't do a lot of stuff here. Crap already. Do the best you can. I uh, should be able to award these guys, too, soon as well. Eh, whatever. It doesn't look like they have that many divisions, which is good. Over on this side, though, we've already made an instrument. Jolly good. And I want you guys to just go quickly. Go fast. Go fast. Go fast. Go fast. Go fast. For the love of God, go faster. The shock troops are pretty good about going fast, but still. And, oh. Because I wanted to encircle them. Hello. Ah. So it looks like it's only four convoys, which is not bad. Ooh. Lost a sub, though, but some of these subs are really god-awful. Some of them are pretty decent. You guys are up here, too. And we have three carriers, four battleships, four heavy cruisers, 21 light cruisers, and 28 destroyers. So, we should do relatively okay-ish. Wild Spear is very nice. Root Desert. Oh, I guess someone blew the Suez Canal, huh? Well, whatever. Um, uh, what else? Three, three, sure. Ooh, that sucks. Just in a convoy, though. Ooh! 19 convoys! Nice job, guys. Keep doing a good job, darn it.
We do have a couple planes here helping out, but not doing enough damage, obviously. More subs. I can't believe we have not done anything for the subs yet, really. It's alright. You guys doing alright, Boeing? Give us a little bit of time, and we'll do well here. Well, the Soviet Army's not that strong, is it? Slowly cutting them down. How are we doing on this front? At this point, just have like one solid front. Let's go in. Have fun. Uh, Denmark, please. Denmark, please. Well, keep. Oh, what, are we that deep already? Not bad. Scavenger? Probably not, but okay. God, nothing else here I really care about too much. I'm more focused on the naval stuff. Yeah, they've not guarded their borders at all. No more they were able to do okay against America and whatnot. And now these guys are coming back. God dang it. It's okay. I guess we're out. Uh, infantry should have this taken care of. Shouldn't have too many issues with these guys. Nice. Wunderwaffe. Yes. There will be one communist international. Uh, oh, they lost quite a few guys too. God damn. Oh, we sunk two battleships there too. Ah, the fleet's stuck on this side, you see, hey? Should be able to sink them pretty quickly. I mean, the game's kind of lagging slow, but whatever. Rocket shooting, nice. Able invasion for the UK, probably. Do more attack damage, yes. They do even more attack damage, yes. Okay, task force destroyed. Couple convoys sunk, yes. Two subs, yes. Hey, there's that task force. We pushed quite well already. I guess when the enemy's really distracted, there's not too bad to do anything here. Reserve transfer, better reinforce rate? Well, we're doing alright, anyways. Of course, we need more soldiers for the uh, garrison stuff. Just mobilizing that's not bad. Look at that. Ah, I guess we can to move the, through the kill canal, maybe. Learning, learning, learning. You got what? Not bad. Hey, not bad too. Seriously, how many divisions I've left? Estonia, and there goes Estonia. Sweden is considered a major power. There goes. Oh, did we take them? No, they got naval invaded again. Well, alright then, whatever. Well, that's gonna be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Yes, it is, but I'm more interested in the naval stuff. Actually, how many losses have they had? 466,000. Vlasov captured. And the most recent enemy retreat, a high ranking Soviet general, has been captured by forces. In custody, this general, Andrei Vlasov, has professed his anti Bolshevism and now proposes to raise some divisions to capture Russians and go fight alongside us against Stalinism. Danish communism failing. Uh, if you want to do this, please go right ahead. Wait, the Union of Soviet Social Republic joins the Soviet Union, Soviet Social Republic of Germany. Okay. Okay. From Hans von Luck. Von Luck. Well, all right. Oh, that's not good. It wasn't ours at least, so. Not bad. Well, it took out France. It's pretty good too. You guys are definitely struggling up here a little bit. The bar. Look at that army XP. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh wow. Combat reports, well, let's go to vehicles, maybe? Sure. There goes Albania again. Follow Moscow, holy crap. Nice. Very nice. 
Not sure what to say. I mean, that's very good. Um, I'll probably go to World UK too in the end here. But we gotta wait for not the hell of the next republic. Well, a little bit, I guess, but still. Jesus. Oh, the Swedes. Uh, I guess good job, Swedes. Norway wants to collaborate with Axis scientists. Our northern Germanic friends want to sign a research collaboration between the Axis nations. They're scientists. Work closely with ours and share our advancements. Follow it. Now though, still for releasing our last equipment. Uh, collaborating with friends. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is disgusting. Even the Japanese invaded them. And they're in the English pack. Confederate European nations. That's not very European. Just saying. Jesus Christ. They are 42% of the way towards capitulating, which is good. Um, where are you guys at? Infantry. Very good infantry, actually. Come on, let's go to war. Okay, finally, thank God. Why do we wait so long? Jesus Christ. Force the attack. The Turks want it. Uh, I don't know. We'll give it to the Turks. We'll see. Maybe. Um. Well, you guys are now the same faction. The Dutch are independent. The Swiss are independent, but they're also guaranteed by the Free French, who are part of whose faction? Commonwealth of Nations. There goes Stalingrad too. Commonwealth of Nations. Confederate. Well, hmm. You guys are Spanish. Hmm. Interesting. More military factories, eh? I'll go with that one. There you go. There you go. Oh god. Oh, now it's ready? There you go. Lost convoy, so be it whatever. Oh wow, you guys are are you guys still struggling? No. You're struggling because the AI is really stupid. Go in. <clears throat> there you go. And they should capitulate. Army Research Laboratory. Uh the recent report from our Army Research Laboratory has arrived this morning. Oh, fade Denmark, there's that one. Um, in the government's office. The report states that the current bureaucratic apparatus is heavily limiting any potential modernization of old weapon systems and the application of new battlefield technologies. The German R&D department cannot process the current amount of reports sent by our military personnel. Any increase in these reports will be useless too, as they are similar to each other. Too similar. That suggests allocating a budget to improve, of mil improve military equipment, considering the vast amount of data created by the combat experience. Our general staff is also in favor of such development, acknowledging that this will surely increase the fighting capabilities of the German army. Let's make something out of it. Fade to Denmark. The Danish government is capitulated, but they seem amicable towards collaboration with us, unlike others, of course. Perhaps. Uh, public government fighting alongside us in all future conflicts is a more desirable outcome than a harsh and costly occupation. Peace with them? Nah. Not this time. There you go. Well, I'm not sure what you guys are going to do now. I do kind of want to go to war with the Spanish. How strong are they? They got a couple divisions. Maybe not. It's in this direction. Might not be a great idea. We'll do it anyways because we can. There you go. Nice. Good job losing that. Denmark. Good job. Because you guys are just nothing but pure infantry, so one, two, three. Sherbog. I guess at this point, we already own France. So we really just want to take out the UK. I mean, the, the Soviets. Not really a problem. It 
see what we can do. Gonna need a little bit more fuel, though, of course. Putting a lot of roads. Firefighting drills will be good. Um, we're trying to get bigger roads. 43, perhaps. Get some more construction speed. Yeah, not bad at all. Why don't you guys focus more down here? Take the caucuses. Once we got Baku, we'll be fine with fuel. Bundabafa. Go to war. Uh, nationalized aviation industry. Nationalized industries can responsible for manufacturing aircraft and improve our ability to produce and develop new military airplanes. Absolutely. Go in and take them all down, because you guys are actually 20 combat with, which is okay. So using some light tanks here. I did not throw on heavy t flame tanks for them. Uh, we need some anti air too, huh? Hello, new ally maybe? Congo Free State. Well, what does I want to add, Jen? Are we really ready for a war against the UK? I don't think so. Not yet. Not really. Get to Baku. Baku the Taku. Dive bombers. Torpedo bombers, maritime bombers. Got any fighters? No. Oh god, how many fighters are we out? Oh, that's not too bad. So we could use more though. Let's get some more output then. Follow Baku. Small arms firepower. I want more soft attack. And we'll come over here and get more heart attack. As we already got another artillery upgrade. Nice. But we need more resource fit, so you can see. Grab some more fuel though. Um I'm not gonna have any of this stuff yet, have I, huh? Hmm. Union boss, resource fighter. Individual rights, nope. Order above all. I do kinda like that one though. Yeah, let's do that one. Just in case for strikes. I don't like strikes. Strikes are annoying. Go on, keep training for now though. War shouldn't last an extreme amount of time, so go ahead and do this. Oh, 25 days, that's pretty good. It's actually very good. Why is it so good? <clears throat> Could use more resources, though. Well, I think as long as we keep pushing for now, it'll be fine, but. Finland. Oh, we're going to have to kill Finland, aren't we? Yes, we are. And that's alright. Department. Very good. Oh, actually, since we're here, we need some radar, definitely. Better air bases. They've been maybe losing a few ships here and there, huh? That's not good. Keep going, guys, all the way through to Vladivostok. Landing craft. Um, we could probably actually probably use more air bases here, over here too. Nice. Let's go there cut him off. <clears throat> How much more does it take to keep pitch? Oh, not much more, huh? 94%, eh? It's still all green, which is good. So, when are the Dutch going to be done? They still have so many options they can take. Wait, how did they cave to the British, though? What? Don't you hate when they cheat that? So basically, whenever you invest political power, like, I knew this was going to happen in the beginning, but it doesn't matter how much political power you invest, you're always going to lose Germany. I don't think I've ever seen it where 
the Dutch go with the British or the, the us, the Germans. So I don't know why I just spent 50 political power, but whatever. But yeah, that's stupid. They need to fix that. And by them, I mean the devs, not the devs, but uh, blah, 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 blah. paradox. Oh, paradox. We love you, but sometimes we're really disappointed. We still love you. We still keep buying your DLCs. At least some of us do. Ooh, more dive bombers, I guess. Well, not that many planes, hey? That's alright. Now I got more than enough. Ready to go? Tally ho? Tally ho it is. Oh, we can't go. What up if we actually had a radar here? We don't quite have it yet. Ah, I don't know. Do this too. Also, if we do this too. There we go. Ah! Is this a naval battle? Ooh! John Cunningham is going to be known as a loser for history. Ah, look at that. No losses, 19 destroyers, 4 heavy cruisers, 5 light cruisers. Absolutely beautiful. Please? Awesome. Supremacy, repair speed. Don't grab that. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. I love allying with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And the Congo Free State. I guess I could, Oh, yeah, I got nothing to do. That's fine. Not bad. Oh, yeah, there's that battle. Oh. A little bit of lag. What's going on? Oh, we got him. Nice. Yep, since we're here, let me do that real quick. Sure, why not? Take me two. Um, at this point, I don't really care. I'm just gonna take everything. Uh, Norway, Mexican Soviet Republic. Can take it. Why not? <clears throat> it's pretty tasty stuff, and I don't want this, so I'll give it to Canada. And there you go. Nice. That looks pretty good. The People's Front. Oh god, are we, what are these guys do? Oh no. Uh, well, I guess we're going over here. Good luck. You're definitely going to need it. Are they actually trying to nail invade us? Oh, that's not good. Oh! Quite not good. Quite not good. Oh, we're losing ships like crazy. Usually it's pretty easy to invade through here. Wow, that was pretty bad for us. Oh crap, we lost the part of the fleet. That's not good. So, um, Of course, we didn't have everybody here. So go and repair. Take that off. And we'll do more stuff to make sure we can blow them up. Well, everyone, as you can see on screen, we're about to take London. We invaded through Dover, which was really good. We've lost a total of 100... 30,000? That's not bad at actually at all. Um, yeah, eventually we just put a lot of bombers in the water here, and we're still bombing stuff here, so... And apparently Norway's trying to justify on us, so... It is what it is. <clears throat> We've done British Imperial Hegemony, our old nemesis. Plan Z sounds like a lot of fun. Even though we don't have that much in the video left, but still. Treat and addiction. that make more sense for us to do, but crossing the Atlantic sounds like a lot of fun, too. Um, Plan Z. Uh, Admiral Rader believes that the British can be best be defeated through a policy of surface raiding. Constructing of battleships and carriers accomplished this will be a massive task. It'll take time, perhaps too much time. On the other hand, our current surface fleet navy is pathetically inadequate. But it doesn't matter. Nice. <clears throat> There's nothing they can do about it now. Come back. Plymouth is ours. Very good. You all. Right there. 
Yeah, keep going. Very nice. Look at that. Keep going. Ah, okay, they're gone. That's all I really wanted it to do. Um, Morocco? Sure, guys. You want to come on in? Sure. You want to come on in? Sure. Sure. Super fire means? Sure. A little ahead of time? Oh, where were these? No, these guys. These guys. Cool. Other than that, that's pretty much all I really wanted it to do. I wanted to just take out most of Europe. Not all of it, but the vast majority of it. I mean, just in our main, main army over here to fight the Japanese, but I'm not concerned about the Japanese right now. But yeah, that's going to be communist Germany for us. There's not much else we can do. So, we didn't go to total war. I mean, if you're wondering about that, please go right ahead. But that's really more for the Nazi side. So, this part of the focus is not really developed that well, I would say. This is kind of like an old one. I'd love to see like an updated one, maybe. It's okay. It's not bad. It is what it is, though. But, you know, I guess that's going to be it for us. For Red Germany, even though our p faction name is, is okay. Leninist Pact is more than fine. But I wish we weren't gray. I wish we were turned red. But maybe that's just me. But if you enjoyed the video or the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.